in the year are carnivals. Only two days off days that Venezuelans look forward to in order to rest and generally travel to their paradisiacal beaches. But a question arose. If the Venezuelan economy is as destroyed as the media claims, is it possible for Venezuelans to afford a vacation? With our correspondent in Venezuela, we decided to find out prices, destinations, and how much availability there was to book in carnivals. Wow, para carnavales. Para uh -huh. carnavales no tenemos nada desde la segunda semana del mes de enero. No nos queda nada, nada, nada para las fechas de carnaval. A ver, eh, Margarita, teníamos, para esta fecha teníamos eh, desde 500 dólares, 500, 600 dólares, todo incluido, eh, para Morrocoy, Paca, eh, por encima de los 400, 500 dólares, también todo incluido. Bienvenido a Viena. Mira, para los bloques no tengo disponibilidad. En todo caso, eh, te puedo ofrecer canaimo, eh, pero ya quedan pocos cupos. Si quieres también puedes reservar para Semana Santa. Para Semana Santa quedan pocos, pero sí quedan no. Están alrededor de 700 dólares, eh, 580, depende del destino. Although inflation is a reality in Venezuela, it is curious how tourist plans of up to $1.500 per person are already sold out. In addition, travel agencies tell us that Venezuelans are already booking plane tickets and booking hotels in the most desired destinations such as Isla Margarita, Los Rokes, and Morocoy for Easter commemorated in April. So how true is it that Venezuela is such a poor country? Has the media exaggerated things in that place? In Venezuela, it is estimated that 8 million people will mobilize in the next vacation. How is it possible? Would you dare to visit the paradisiacal Venezuelan beaches 